there are windy roads in the world and then there's this fourteen hairpin bends one after the other I've ridden up and down it a couple of times it's just amazing it really is and now if you see that little house right there from that house I've just walked through this mountain and the jungle literally to a rocky path which finishes right here isn't it worth it and all because I saw a photo online and I asked the guy at our homestay how do you get to this location and he told me and when I got to that house they showed me where the path was and it's like a 20 minute hike from there to here, literally across rocks and up really steep bits of, uh, you know, wet, slippery, muddy, rocky, dirty path. But isn't it worth it? And you can hear the horns from so far away. It truly is one of the greatest roads I've ever been on in my life. And the scenery ain't too shabby either billed as the most spectacular road in Vietnam I would absolutely agree it's about 70 miles I went on this road yesterday from Cao Bang to Bao Lac absolutely spectacular there's another one of these actually about 50 miles back and it goes uphill and it's really bad quality surface we came from that side down Bao Lac is 10 miles that way but this road man Wow, 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 what a feat of engineering. And at the bottom, it looks like they're continuing it to go down even further with more. You can't see on this video, but um, literally underneath this bit, there's uh, diggers. You can probably hear the diggers and r construction doing what looks to be like they're f making more, more hairpin bends. You know, the road just continues and it goes in a straight line and rounds a few more bends. But um, I reckon in a year's time, I mean, how long must this have taken to make? You know, look at it, how they've just dug this entire trench through the side of the mountain and stuck a road in it. It's staggering. It really, really is. Yeah, as roads go, as road trips go, uh, I'll put a link in the description as to what is the name of this road, but I know it's a DT road, uh, which are quite bad in places. Some of them are quite muddy and... Uh, you know, where lorries get stuck and it's stones and rock and loose gravel and potholes and all that kind of stuff. But a lot of it is smooth. This road here is actually really, really smooth. It's an absolute joy to ride down. There's a few little bits on the corners. But uh, that's from, I guess, landslides because there has been a shit ton of rain lately. But, um, my goodness, what a road. The best road I've ever ridden up and indeed down. Actually, a free wheel down it yesterday. I was running out of petrol. There's a petrol station about 10 kilometres further on the road. But I got to the top and I thought, you know what? I wonder if I can freewheel all the way to the bottom. And I did. <laughs> it was really cool. In absolute silence as well. You know, it's amazing. I just filmed some time-lapse videos of a lorry going up it and a car. But you can hardly see it. But the lorry one, you can't, you can. Because I zoomed in a little bit. But uh, what a road. Look at the state of it. Talk about Spaghetti Junction. Or like, you know wiggly windy hairpin twisty turny roads this is just is up there with the best of them you know this is northern vietnam uh, a road between the city of cao bang and the town of bao lac and it's all thanks to uh the vietnam coracle this website that we've been following these routes on literally every single road this guy's been on in vietnam he's like this one's the best he's done i think it was like 2000 miles across northern vietnam and he goes this road is the best one and the scenery along here is absolutely staggering. It's just view after view after view like this for hundreds of miles. That's all you see. It's just incredible. Anyway, yeah, Dan Fossard's road trip does continue.